and welcome to your energy art reading for the month of June 2024. My name is Vicky Paul and I'm an intuitive and an artist and I use art and creativity to connect with spirit or energy, the universe, whatever you want to call it. And I use it to bring through wisdom, guidance, healing and just to help you, I guess, with your general overall well-being. And I've recently set up this channel, so thank you so much to everyone who has watched so far, and I'm trying to grow it. So if anything that you do here today does resonate with you, I would so appreciate if you could like, share, and subscribe. And that way, if you subscribe, you get to know when the notifications are for my weekly readings, which come out sort of Sunday evening into Monday morning. And then every month, I do a general reading for that month. And I'm going to be doing something a little different today. Because in addition to the general energies for the month of June, and obviously with it being general, please just take what resonates. I also had this uh, sort of inclination to do something specific for love, for sort of finance and money. And then the other um, energy that came through was health. So we're going to have a quick chat about that. Now, I am not a doctor. So again, this is just the energies that I feel called to bring through. If you have any health issues, then please obviously see a professional. The other thing that came through in addition to some sort of drawings and symbols, if you're new to this channel, I channel different energies that come through as drawings and symbols. I've also got some words and a number that came through this year. So stick around for that. Right then, let's get cracked on. So the first energy that came through was these are spotlights. Now I have these lights specifically in my studio. So this is why they're kind of, they're square lights, but these are kind of halogen lights that I use in my studio when I'm painting or to photograph my artwork, but they are spotlights. And it feels very much to me that for some of you, you're under the spotlight this month. And that can be either something quite empowering and inspiring, but for some of you, it's going to feel a wee bit uncomfortable. And it also feels that it's going to be highlighting, this energy is going to highlight things that need to come to the surface that you need to notice that you haven't been noticing or you've not been paying attention to. So these energies are very much about highlighting something that needs to be looked at this month. And it also feels that it's going to be highlighting the way forward. This has been an energy that's kind of carried through over the last couple of readings that I've done about our future and looking to the future. And it feels that these spotlight energies, whilst they're going to be shining a light on you, they're also going to be a shining a light on your way forward. So, yeah, just really illuminating your path, illuminating things that need to be looked at in your own personal circumstances. It could be relationship, work, um, just that general energy. But it's very much about brightening up. Yeah, and it's that's it's just as I'm talking about this, it's about brightening up your life as well. It feels, I mean, obviously we're moving into June. We're now into the beginning in early summer. So the nights are going to be brighter. Everything's going to be lighter, hopefully, if we keep the, the good weather with the sunshine. So this is also about bringing more lightness and more brightness into your life, which is lovely. The next energy I got was a book. So some of you will have your head in a book. And that is literally some of you have just started reading again or you're really get engrossed in a book that you're reading at the moment. Obviously, a lot of us do buy books when we go on summer holidays. So if you are going away, you're going to be finding some good books to get your head into. But this also feels a lot more about learning. And it feels that there's more learning to be done. So some of you may be studying for something. Some of you may be on a path of um, or a seeker's path where you're looking to expand your knowledge and understand more deeply who you are, what your place is in the world, where you feel you belong. But also it feels like it's understanding other people as well. So whilst this is a book and it means reading, it's also about knowledge and expanding your knowledge and the more knowledge we have, I mean, they say that knowledge is power. And I feel for this energy, it's about the more knowledge that you have and the more understanding that you have of yourself, what makes you tick, what you like, what you don't like, what you're prepared to accept, what you're not prepared to accept, then you will feel much more empowered to stand in alignment with who you are. So yes, there will be some learning involved for some of you. And this can also be a, a, a spiritual learning and an unfolding. And I feel very much the energies carried forward from the last reading are about 
for some of you specifically, there will be this real call to understand yourself on a much deeper level. And for many of us, there comes a point in our life when the sort of material satisfactions that used to make us comfortable and drive us and make us strive for bigger, better, more, a more aligned life, that kind of path doesn't always fit. And the, some of the things that you really enjoyed and that gave you a lot of satisfaction don't inspire you and satisfy in the same way. And, and for those of you who are feeling that at the moment, it feels very much more that there's going to be an exploration of energy. And it may well be that you're called to read a specific book. Now, the word that the book that's coming into mind is Eckhart Tolle, The Power of Now. And it feels like that there's going to be wisdom or there's going to be a phrase or you're going to be asking questions and you're going to find the answer in a book. Now, it may not be The Power of Now. And I don't know why that book has come into my mind other than it might be relevant for some of you. Um, but it also feels that this book is very centered on accepting where you're at now. And I feel that for some of you, that's something that you've struggled with. And the energies very much in June are about helping you to feel more comfortable with where you're at in the present moment and enjoying and understanding who you are in the present moment and not constantly striving for the future and striving for the um what's sort of not quite out of reach, but what's not in your current present reality. And also for some of you, it's just coming through that too much time is spent in the past as well in memories. So this is very much about reading, learning, knowledge, gaining knowledge and wisdom. But also I feel for some of you that you're going to be reading a specific book or called to a specific book and you're going to find an answer to a question that's been eluding you. I then got the image of a lighthouse and you'll notice this lighthouse is shining forward and back. So the light's going in different directions. Um, again, this feels very much tied in with the spotlight and the illumination energies. Just getting that there. But where the spotlights are highlighting something, a lighthouse is much more of a guide and it's to help sailors understand where the shoreline is to guide them past tricky um, waters. And I feel that with this lighthouse, it's very much about the fact that you are being guided safely past some kind of tricky situation. So if some of you are going through some struggles with, um, it feels very much related to other people. So you are involved and entangled in something that will be tricky to navigate, some kind of relationship challenge. And again, this could be personal or it could be professional. Um, and it feels like it's been a bit rocky and you're not quite sure which way to go. I feel this week, um, particularly as we kick off into the beginning of June, you're going to start to feel that energies of support coming through. And then at some stage through the month of June, you're going to get completely um, highlighted with this lighthouse and it's going to show you and guide you past and how you can steer past this really tricky situation where you're going to feel comfortable in how you've handled it. You're not going to second um, um, uh, doubt yourself or second guess yourself in what you said and how you handled the situation. And it feels like you're going to be on your journey. So you're going to pass this rocky situation and then you're going to be back on your journey and back on your path and back on calmer waters. It definitely feels there's an emotional involvement with this because the lighthouse, obviously, there's sea. Um, lighthouses guide ships. So I feel with water for me is very much uh, an emotional energy. So I feel that this is there's an emotional connection with this um, tricky relationship. Um, and actually when I'm just kind of tuning in at the moment, there's darker lines here and lighter lines there. I also feel that this energy, this lighthouse energy is going to also highlight something in you. I've spoken about this in the past about, you know, the shadow aspect of who we are. And I feel that this 
challenging situation that you're going through is, you know, there's lessons in everything. And particularly the challenges that we encountered in life, they are tremendous teachers, um, wisdom givers, if we allow ourselves to open up to what it is that the the, the opportunity and, and the, the situation is presenting to us, what, what learning we can get out of it. And I really feel that this lighthouse is guiding you Whilst it's guiding you to navigate this situation, I feel it's very much guiding you to look within and understand inwardly what your connection to this tricky situation is and not so much how that you could have prevented it, but what it's highlighted within you to therefore bring up to the surface so that you can look at it, pick it apart and then process it and let it go. So it's it's highlighting something in your shadow side or your shadow aspect that needs to be released as well as helping you navigate that tricky relationship. The next energy that I received was the image of a crane. And the, in, the in, image that came straight into my mind was of, of the crane in particular that sits on the Clyde side in Glasgow. Now, that could be relevant to somebody that's watching, but for those of you who don't already know my accent, I am Scottish and lived in Glasgow for many years. So that could be a, a, a sort of sign or a connection for me, but I'm going to share it, it came, because it came through. Um, but it could well be because the crane in Glasgow has this sort of a uh, jaggy aspect to it. So it could have helped me just with the drawing of it. Um, but I always share what comes through in case anything that comes through is relevant to you. But I feel the crane energy is about doing some heavy lifting. Cranes lift really heavy objects onto buildings and around um, sort of building sites. And, and this particular crane is lifting um, in the Glasgow Clyde side is lifting um, cargo off the ships that used to come in. And perhaps, actually, as I'm tuning in, this is related to this um, energy, which it is. I'm just getting clarification on that, that you're going to be, whilst the, the lighthouse energy is going to be supporting you with this tricky situation, the crane has come in to help you with the emotional um, process that comes with this highlighting of the shadow aspects. So you have got support with the heavy lifting of this because a lot of us, we struggle to look at the sort of darker aspects of our character. And these are character traits that we all have. They're very much wrapped up in who we are as human beings and they can support us, but sometimes they can have more challenging or negative um, effects on our path. So I feel, and because of that, we don't like going there. We don't like to access it. We don't like to admit that we have these character traits. But I feel this energy that's come in with the crane is that you are being supported with your ancestors, your angels, your spirit guides, just the universe in general to do some of that heavy lifting. And that is very much about this is the month, this is the time to look at that energy. Um... And I also feel particularly with the sort of ups and downs, you know, it might be a wee bit up and down. Your energies and your emotions might be a wee bit up and down. It might be a wee bit raw. You know, this is also, as I'm looking at this, I'm seeing kind of jaggy teeth. So it could well be that, you know, it's going to be a wee bit ragged and a wee bit raw to process this, but you've got this. You've got the support. Um, yeah. So... The next image that I got was an arrow. Now I'm gonna put it that way because it was very much pointing in that direction. Now that direction is left for me. Obviously this video may be flipping it around, I can never remember, but that was going left. This was a very definite energy, which is why it's been solidly cleared in, uh, colored in. Um, so some of you are knowing exactly where you're going. You've been putting the legwork in and it's like, right, it has landed. You know what direction it is you're going and you're off. It feels very determined. So some of you are very determined in where you're going, what you know, and the, the direction that you're heading. 
This also feels that for some of you, you're going in the opposite direction. And I feel that some kind of penny has dropped recently for you. And it's like, okay, enough's enough. I'm, I'm done. You know, tools are down. I'm off ski. And it feels that you are like, right, I am done. And it feels that this is across all of life. So for some of you, it'll be with work. With some of you, it'll be in relationships. With some of you, it'll be with patterns and behaviors and habits in your own life. It feels very much like, right, that is it. It's done. I'm over. I'm out. And out doesn't always mean that you're signed out. It just means that you're heading out in a different direction. It could be outdoors. It could be outside. It could be in the opposite direction of what it was that you were doing. It feels positive. I'm going to turn that around. It feels positive. Um, and because I've chosen the red crayon, it feels that this is um, associated with the root chakra, which is all about your sense of security, your sense of identity, and um, what makes you feel safe and secure. So there might be some financial issues wrapped up in that, something around the home. Um, and it's really about that deep sense of belonging. Um, I then got the image of a snooker table, <laughs> which feels a number of different things. Um, it feels like some of you will feel like life is a bit of a game at the moment, but snooker is a very strategic game. And sometimes the obvious shot is not always the best shot from a point, point of view. And sometimes you have to play a shot that prevents your opponent from taking a shot or from taking a shot that would pot the ball with the highest number of points. So I feel that this is very much about strategy. So whilst there will be this game element to it and there will be a bit of fun and light energy around it, I absolutely feel that you are being called to be and to think much more strategically. It's not about just going for the obvious thing. It's about looking three and four and five balls or steps ahead. Um, and I also feel it's interesting that there's specific colours that have come up. So, and, and if you look at this, they're all placed, you know, kind of equidistant from one another. Rather, you know, I could have done it in a, in a triangle. They could have been in a line. There is a wee white ball there. So I don't quite know if you can see it. Um, obviously, well, not obviously, but I drew it over the green so you might not see it. But these sort of the, the two blue balls, the yellow, the red and the orange, you know, these are also associated with chakra colours. This is your solar plexus, the yellow. The light blue is associated with um, throat. Um, this could be indigo. Um, this is red. And this is orange, obviously, for the sacral chakra. So I feel that this strategic game that you're playing is also about tapping into and there's a kind of wisdom in there and guidance yeah it's just getting clarity on that that it's about sometimes strategy can be difficult um I know it is for me sometimes I feel you know thinking strategically can be quite difficult if you're much more of a creative person you just kind of tend to go with the flow um but strategy and logic help um harness and create some kind of structure that then allows you and anchors you to allow that creativity um, just to, to flow freely. You know, we live in a material world. We need structure. Um, but I feel with this, um, for some of you who strategy and logic doesn't come easily, um, how you can help with that is to really use your intuition and tap into your root chakra, your solar um, plexus, your sacral chakra and your throat chakra and really tap into those energies and intuit what feels right for you and allow that to inform this strategy. Now, again, the strategy could be for any aspect of life. I'm not getting anything specific, um, but it feels when I tune in just now, it feels that some of you have been going along a specific path and it's just not working. You're just not getting the results that you want. Um, but you're not ready for downing tools and giving up. It feels that actually you need to take a step back. And number one, life is a game. See this as a game. Try and remove some of the frustration around um, 
and it feels that there's energies of, of trying to achieve in something or take a step forward in some aspect of life that you're just not quite getting. And even though you can see it and feel it, it's just not quite there yet. And it feels that by implementing this strategic aspect, but also keeping the element of the fact that it's a game and the lightness and the playfulness around that, that's going to help you, you know, move more um, cleanly, I want to say, towards where it is you want to go. The image that then came through was a speaker. So this is the kind of, you know, in a speaker, you've got the box and then you've got that kind of um, material bit that kind of where the, all the doof, 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 comes out that's my speaker sound and it feels you know and the reason I've done that is you know it feels like there's some energy coming out of this speaker so it feels that you need to shout up you need to sp not shout up but speak up it feels like some of you are not being heard you're not speaking up so I want you to speak up have your voice heard it feels also that because I've gone woof, woof, you know, there's frequency and there's energy and resonance in sound. And I feel that for some of you, particularly those who are on this spiritual path, it feels that you're going to start to feel more of these energies more fully in your body. And I also want to say that this is, whilst it's about speaking up and being heard, I also feel it's connected with last week's energy when I drew an ear and it was about listening. I feel that some of you are going to be listening to healing sounds, meditations that are going to really help you this month. So if you are looking to tap into those spiritual energies, if you're on that spiritual path, then looking for the right type of meditation or the right type of sound bath or something sound is going to be very healing for you and it's going to help you connect and get out your body and into your heart space and tap into that intuitive spiritual aspect of yourself um i also feel tying in with this um the game and the playful aspect it feels that just listening to some music that you love um you know and turning the volume up on your speakers and just having a dance and just letting go and just allowing yourself to enjoy the energy of music because music is such an emotive, connective um, energy. And it feels that for some of you, it's just coming through that putting your favorite song on or putting a song that you really love on is actually going to transport you energetically to a place, a time, a space where you need to go that's going to be supportive for you this, this month. Have a wee glass of water, excuse me, cheers. I then received the image of a tunnel. So I feel that this is about, and you'll notice the tunnel's dark. You know, obviously the light from the, from, life from the daytime is sort of in the foreground and you're going into this tunnel and it's dark but there's no light at the end of the tunnel and I feel that this is about being bold and being courageous and just going in um for some of you it will feel that you will also have tunnel vision um and this could be associated with this arrow in this direction but I feel that Whilst this is a new energy, this arrow is a new energy, this tunnel vision feels like something that's, for some of you in particular, is, is something that you're in and have been in for a wee while. And I almost want to say, sometimes you have to come out for the light or you have to look for the light. Um, and it almost feels that there's a slight stubbornness energy around this. So whilst, particularly if you are building and developing in uh you know in your work or your career or your uh, you know business or entrepreneur or there's something that you want to set up you kind of need to have that tunnel vision to commit to the path um but i want to say with this i feel that it's also tied in with this book energy that actually sometimes when you're in the tunnel um you don't have all the answers. And whilst it's great to keep yourself focused, I almost feel that you need to take a step back and, and you know, look for that light in the tunnel and, and listen to other voices. 
tied in with the speaker, listen to other voices. Um, because sometimes we can go so far down the path and actual fact we lose complete sense of where it is that we're going or why we started something in the first place. And also it can be at the detriment of other aspects of our life, particularly if you're, um, if this is related to work or career, um, you also have to be aware that, you, you know, you have to have a bit more of a, oh, excuse me, a drop it, a bit more of the sort of playful aspect to all work and no play, um, as you know, the saying goes. But I also want to say that you've got to also consider family life, um, your self-care, you know, other aspects of who you are. So this just feels actually the energy is a little heavy with this. I feel that I want to say to you, um, it's time to find the light at the end of the tunnel. You've been in there too long. It's time to find the way out. The next um, energies, which were really interesting, before I go into um, the specifics, so when I tuned in, I always just ask for the general energies that are going to resonate for the month. Um, but I decided to ask for specific um, energies for love, for money, sort of money and finance, and also the other one that came in was health. Um, but before I go on to that, I just wanted to share with you some of the words and the number that came through. So the number 22 came through. That will be significant for some of you. And it could well be the 22nd of June is going to be a significant day. Now we have obviously okay, we go, um, the summer solstice, I think, the, is it the 21st? So that's the longest day. Um, that's a very sort of auspicious and energetic time. So it could well be that the energies are culminating towards the 21st and you might want to incorporate some kind of summer solstice ritual to open up, let go, invite in. And it almost feels that they're sort of tied in with this um, lighthouse and also the spotlights. Um, the 22nd is going to be a really um, key date for some of you that actually it feels like almost this is the start. This is the starting point. It could also be that some of you have birthdays on the 22nd or you're visiting somebody and the, the door number on their house is 22. So just take what resonates, but the number 22 will be significant for some of you. Sorry. Um, the other um, energies that I got, so I got the word peace. And I feel that this has come up a couple of times in the, the, the recent readings about this real search for inner peace. Um, I feel that this is related to this knowledge and this wisdom. The more we understand ourselves, the more at peace with ourselves we can become, the more that we accept the shadow aspects of who we are and we just settle in to all the different layers of who we are and we find a peace within ourselves. We cannot find external peace if there's internal um, ups and downs. And it could also be that this um, energy of the lighthouse, whilst it does feel that this is about navigating a, a kind of choppy situation um, externally, you know, with, with a, another person or group of people, it also feels that it's going to help you navigate internally within yourself past those choppy waters so it feels you know our life is a mirror our outward life is a mirror of our inner expression so if you are seeking peace externally um it starts with finding peace internally so what brings you peace um i said about the speakers and listening to meditation it could well be that some really um gentle music sort of music that makes you feel calm is a great starting point i then got the word truth Truth is an interesting one, and this has come up for me as well. Um, and I feel I want to talk about truth in the respect that there's somebody, I remember somebody telling me there's three truths. There's their truth, there's your truth, and there's the truth. You know, we all interpret what happened and who we are and, and sometimes very different ways. And the more we look back, when I talked about with this lighthouse energy spending time in the past. Um, the more we look to the past, the more and the more we recall past memories. Every time you recall that memory, something different about it changes. So what was the truth of that situation 
at the time that it happened, whenever it was in the past. By the time you've recalled it back into the present moment, it has changed. So you've changed as a person and how you view that truth. And also the memory recall has changed aspects of that truth. So truth is a really interesting word, particularly for me. And I know it will resonate with some of you watching this. And this is going to be relevant for some of you as well. That, you know, in pursuit of the truth, and I'm just getting this tunnel image, we can be um, so in pursuit of the truth that we lose sight of everything. And I, I want to say that it feels like this is about, actually, does it really matter whose truth is the truth? Sometimes the search for truth is, it does more harm than good. So I feel that there's energies of letting go around this at the moment. Um, for some of you, that could also be that actually you are seeking the truth of who you are. Um, I think of the word hysterical. And I feel that there's going to be some hysteria around this month. Um, and that could be a good thing. It's sometimes not a positive thing. Um, so I'm just drawing it to your attention um, that there could be a wee bit of hysterical energy around. Um, that could be you. You could be in the receiving end of it. Um, I'm not really getting any more about the hysterical. I just wanted to bring it up. I then got the word grandparents. So some of you will be grandparents this month. So congratulations in advance if that is relevant to you. But I also feel that this is more to do with um, our grandparents. And yes, they are there looking after us. So if your grandparents are either here or in spirit, their energies are there supporting you and helping you. They could also be part of this crane energy, helping you do some heavy lifting. But for me, what it feels like is that grandparents, um, now, again, this is, you know, um, general, so take it only what uh, as it resonates. But it feels, you know, the number of people that I speak to who become grandparents, they, they have a much um, lighter relationship with their grandchildren than they did with their own children. And that's not to say that there's any more or any less love, but because... There's a different dynamic, you know, the dynamic that you have as a parent to your child and the stress and the worry that's associated with that is lightened slightly and the pressure is lightened slightly as a grandparent. And it almost feels that you get to enjoy parenting your grandchildren um, without all of that heavy energy associated with the worry of being a new parent, et cetera, et cetera. Plus, you've also got the experience of bringing up children to understand and have that wisdom that comes with that. As a, a parent, when you're doing it for the first time, everything's new and you, you don't trust yourself. Um, it feels that that is some of the energy um, that I want you to encompass is to use some of that wisdom that you have gained in life. And again, it feels like it's tied into this game of snooker and just try and enjoy things with that um, knowledge and the wisdom and try and get the best out of an a knowledge, um, not knowledge, use the knowledge and try and enjoy the experience um, with much more lightness around it. And it also feels, you know how grandparents talk about the fact that they can enjoy their grandchildren and then they can hand them back. It almost feels that I want you to um, enjoy what it is that you're doing, but then put it to the side for a bit and then go on with the next bit. Then enjoy what you're doing, and then set it aside and go on with the next bit. Um, I then got the word school. So this could be that some of your kids are going to school, some of your kids are off. Um, obviously, as we head into June, um, for some schools, term ends this year, so it could be as relevant and as literal as that. But again, it could also be tied in with this energy of the book and wisdom and learning. Maybe you are going back to school you're learning something. So I'm not suggesting that you're going back to primary school or secondary school, um, but you are going back to school. It'll feel like you are um, relearning or going back to that learning state again. And also school can be quite a contentious energy for some of you. And I feel with this lighthouse energy of looking at some of the shadow aspects, some of the experiences in our past, using the energies of the crane to help you with some heavy lifting it could well be that this is all tied in with this school. So maybe for some of you, something 
challenging and tricky happened to you whilst you were at school. Um, and it feels like I want you to go back to that memory and just use the support there and help release and process it. So these are the general themes for the month of June. And I wanted just to do a quick um, dive into love. So again, these are general, but around the energies of love, money and also health. So for love, I got an I. And this feels very much about um, you need to have your eyes open in love. Um, and if you have started a new relationship or you're in a long term relationship, then it feels like you need to open your eyes and actually see what is happening in the relationship. Sometimes we can get so clouded by how we feel, by what we want a relationship to be, by how we want somebody to behave, that we don't actually pay attention and look for what is actually happening. And I feel that this is very much about opening your eyes to what is currently happening. I also feel that if you are looking for love, then it feels like you need to look more closely. Look more closely. Sometimes it's about casting the net wide. It feels, for some of you, this is about looking a wee bit closer to home um, if you are looking for love. So, yeah, just be aware if you're in relationship or whether it's a long term or a new relationship for some of you. And again, this is a general reading that I feel I want you to open your eyes and actually really see the truth of the person that you're in the relationship with, the truth of the relationship and how it is unfolding. So that you understand truthfully what it is and where you are heading. In terms of money. I got, these were like dollar bills. So they look like birds flying into the distance or in the distance. Um, so this was like notes, little money notes, all flying away into the distance. So this is twofold. It will feel like money is just flying out your purse literally this month. So there could be a lot of spending happening. That could well be that you just have a lot of bills that you need to pay. Um, but it could also be that you are spending either more than you're earning or it's just like you're just spending just go for it and and it feels that there's definitely two energies in this um some of you have the money and it's about actually just spend that money and enjoy it you've worked really hard for it and um this is going to bring you a lot of joy and a lot of fun and a lot of lightness just to, to blow the cash on frivolous things or material things on things that you've really always wanted or you've, you've been saving up for. This is a month that you're going to find that you're going to buy them and you're going to spend that money. So I want you to do that. If you're in that position, then I want you to enjoy it and do it guilt free. It also feels that this is about long term abundance, long term financial security. And it feels that you can really see what it is in the future that you want and that security is there. You've got it all of life. It's in the present moment and it's going into the future. So I feel that you are financially going to be safe. You're going to be um, looked after. Do not worry. We all worry about money. We all, particularly if you work for yourself, where the next penny is coming. You know, money doesn't go as far these days as it used to. But it feels that the money is still there. You know, there's not lots of it, but there's still money coming in. You've still got money to the future. So I want you to try and this month feel more confident and more settled in the energies of security and that the finances are there and the money will be there. And the more that you embrace and embody that energy of trust and faith, that abundance is there, that there is no lack you will then mirror that back out into your life and that money will come into your life. I then got, um, for the energy of health, and I've written stomach because the minute I tuned in and I knew I wanted to do health rather than another specific aspect like work, um, because I immediately had this stomach rumble and this came up, I think it was the last reading for the last week in May, um, stomach came up. So some of you may be dealing with some stomach issues that could be ulcers, not digesting your food properly, acid reflux, um, just a general kind of icky tummy, maybe feeling sick. 
So it could well be that some of the foods that you're eating are not digesting well anymore. So for some of you, there will be maybe some new intolerances in there, or it may well be that you just need to have a look at your diet and, and what you're eating and drinking and how it affects you. Because again, for some of you, what you're eating and what you're drinking is not nourishing you in enough of a way that it's not causing you problems. Digestion in the stomach is also about emotions. So again, I get quite a loud stomach kind of, you know, when you're hungry and your stomach makes this really groany loud noise, it feels that tied in emotionally, it feels like there's going to be a release of energy. Now, when your stomach's hungry and you get the groan, that's the stomach acids releasing to go, hello, feed me. It feels from an energetic point of view that you are going to be like, hello, listen to me. Or it's going to be this, you know, outward expression of what it is that you're feeling and what you desire. Um, and I also feel that this has got to do with some kind of new emotion that's been surfacing for some of you. Um, and this is something that's been bubbling. It's also tied in with this lighthouse energy. I want you to use the crane energy to lift those um, blockages and those memories and those energies out of your stomach up to allow it out. Um, I definitely feel there's an expression of get it out of you um, and do it in a way that's, you know, speaking and talking. The fact that I had that stomach groan means there needs to be noise in the process. So I feel... Rather than just processing those emotional energies internally, I want you to talk it out, scream it out, sing it out, just get it out, use your vocal cords to get it out. And that's going to be really healing for you. So there you have the themes and energies for the month of June. And although this reading is for June 2024, I genuinely believe that whenever you find this reading, if you come to it much later than that, there will be something in this reading for you that is going to make sense and is going to resonate with you. As ever, I'm growing the channel and I would so appreciate if you would subscribe so that it helps all the algorithms and um, share what it is that I'm doing. It also helps me know that you are connecting with what I'm doing. And this is a fairly, um, I don't want to say new, but it's 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 a, a very different way of bringing through energy. A lot of people use astrology and tarot. And the fact that I'm using art and drawing as a way of bringing through energy is fairly new, I feel. And I would really love to spread the word about what it is I'm doing. I'm passionate about art and creativity and its ability to connect with spirit, but also connect with our souls. So please let me know what you think. If you've got any comments, I do always respond to the comments. And yeah, if there's anybody that you feel would benefit from listening to this, then I'd love you to share it with them. Thank you again. And I hope you have a great month.